site cable and hose management. Keep passageways clear from cables to minimize trip hazards. Do this by using cable bridges, as required, to route cables across walkways. Arrange route cables in an orderly manner and use cable ramps to prevent trip chances. Make use of cable trays to lay down multiple cables. Keep cables as short as possible. Where cable stands or storage are provided, ensure that they are used, especially for rolled excess and unused cables. Hang up cables and make sure they are returned to the proper storage areas when not in use. Separate or isolate cables from sources when not in use. Ensure all cables are kept away and clear of water. All accidents and incidents, no matter how small, must be reported to the site manager as soon as possible, including near misses and property damage incidents. The site accident book is located in the site cabin. The site manager will ensure that all accidents and incidents are reported within 20 minutes to the Clark Energy Quench Department. Clark Energy encourages a no-blame culture and actively promotes the reporting of near-miss incidents to raise standards and keep everyone safe. As a reminder, and according to the HSE guidelines, a near-miss is an event not causing harm, but has the potential to cause injury or ill health. If you spot any hazard or near-miss whilst on site, report this using the QR code system or directly to the site manager. It is important to raise near-misses and observations, and that we look out for each other in the process. Please, don't walk by. We encourage you to aim to raise at least one observation per week. Before undertaking any site activities please ensure you have access to the construction phase plan. This will identify any site-specific hazards. If relevant, these hazards need to be addressed in your risk assessment and method statements. Take 5 to stay alive. A Take 5 assessment should be done before work starts, but can also be carried out at any point during a task. This is a five-step procedure to prevent accidents and to make the working environment a safer place and quickly mitigate exposure to hazards and other health risks. Take five to stay alive. One, stop. First, think about all the potential risks associated with the task about to be performed. Two, identify what are the hazards. Three, assess. Consider the associated damage and threats. Four, control. Modify the RAMs to show the new measures to eliminate or reduce the likelihood of occurrence. 5. Proceed and review again if necessary. All parties should understand and countersign the amended RAMs prior to recommencing work. RAMs should be considered as live documents. No job is so important that it can't be stopped to take 5. Asbestos where asbestos is known to be present on this site it is identified in the asbestos register. Please consult this where necessary. Asbestos awareness training is required for all workers who are likely to be exposed to asbestos. If you encounter any material suspected of being asbestos, stop work immediately and inform the Clark Energy Site Manager and your own supervisor. If welding is required on site and if the welding is indoors, then local exhaust ventilation must be used, plus respiratory protective equipment, if necessary. If welding outdoors, then just respiratory protective equipment, RPE, must be worn. Any protection provided must be documented on your RAMs. When using negative pressure RPE, the user must be face fitted and have had suitable training. For any hot works, a permit to work must be issued prior to welding taking place.